Dear friends, this video is chapter 1 of basic skill of concrete batching plant. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction industry. We will discuss about A. Overview of concrete batching plant and its components. B. Importance of concrete batching plant in construction. C. Safety briefing, plant layout and potential hazards of concrete batching plant. D. Emergency procedures and evacuation drills of concrete batching plant. We'll start presenting a new topic now. A. Overview of concrete batching plant and its components. A concrete batching plant, also known as a concrete mixing plant or concrete batching plant, is a facility that combines various ingredients to form concrete. It plays a crucial role in construction projects of all sizes, as it ensures the consistent production of high-quality concrete. Here is an overview of a concrete batching plant and its key components. 1. Batching System 1A. Aggregate bins, these are storage containers for different types of aggregates, such as sand, gravel, and crushed stone. They come in various sizes and can be multiple in number. 1B. Weighing system, the aggregates are weighed accurately before being mixed. Load cells or weighing belts are used to measure the quantity of each aggregate. 1C. Cement silos, these store cement in bulk. They are typically tall, cylindrical structures that protect the cement from moisture and other external factors. 1D. Admixtures, sometimes, admixtures like water reducers, accelerators, or retarders are added to the concrete mix. These are stored in separate tanks and introduced into the mix as needed. As needed. 2. Conveying System. 2A. Conveyor belts, these transport the aggregates from the bins to the mixing unit. 2B. Screw conveyors, used for conveying cement from the silos to the mixer. 3. Mixing Unit. 3A. Mixer, the heart of the batching plant, where the various ingredients are combined. There are different types of mixers, including twin shaft mixers and planetary mixers. They ensure thorough and consistent mixing of the materials. 3B. Water system, accurate water measurement and control are essential for achieving the desired concrete consistency. Water is added to the mix through water meters and pipes. 4. Control system. 4A. PLC, programmable logic controller a computerized control system that manages and monitors the batching process. It controls the flow of materials, the mixing process, and the discharge of concrete. 4B. Software, custom software allows operators to set parameters, track production, and adjust the mix design as needed. 4C. Sensors, various sensors measure parameters such as moisture content, temperature, and material levels to ensure precise batching. 5. Storage and discharge. 5A. Storage hoppers, once mixed, concrete is temporarily stored in hoppers before being discharged. 5B. Concrete discharge conveyor, this conveyor transports the mixed concrete to waiting trucks or other containers. 5C. Truck mixer loading point. Concrete is loaded into concrete mixer trucks for transportation to the construction site. 6. Dust collection and environmental controls. 6A. Dust collectors, these are essential for capturing and controlling dust generated during the batching process. 6B. Environmental controls, batching plants may include systems to manage environmental factors such as noise, air pollution, and runoff. 7. 7. Batching plant accessories. 7A. Batching plant control room, an enclosed space for operators to monitor and control the entire batching process. 7b. Batching plant foundation, a strong and stable foundation to support the various components of the plant. 7c. Safety equipment, fire extinguishers, safety signs, and emergency stop buttons are important safety features. Concrete batching plants come in various sizes and configurations, ranging from small, portable units for small-scale projects to large, stationary plants for commercial and industrial construction. The choice of a batching plant depends on the specific requirements of the project, the production capacity needed, and the available space at the construction site. Proper maintenance and calibration of the plant are crucial to ensure consistent and high-quality concrete production. B. Importance of concrete batching plant in construction. Concrete batching plants play a vital and indispensable role in the construction industry due to their numerous advantages and contributions. Here are some of the key reasons why concrete batching plants are of paramount importance in construction. 1. Consistency and quality. Concrete batching plants ensure the consistent production of high-quality concrete. They precisely measure and mix the ingredients, including aggregates, cement, water, and admixtures, according to the required proportions and specifications. This consistency is essential for meeting strength, durability, and performance requirements in construction projects. 2. Efficiency and productivity. Batching plants are designed for efficient and continuous concrete production. They can produce a large volume of concrete in a relatively short period, which is crucial for meeting tight construction schedules and project deadlines. 
3. 3. Cost Savings Using a batching plant can result in cost savings over traditional on-site mixing methods. It reduces labor costs, minimizes material wastage, and ensures accurate ingredient measurement, all of which contribute to cost efficiency. 4. Quality Control Batching plants offer precise control over the mixing process, allowing for adjustments and fine-tuning as needed. This enables better quality control and the ability to produce concrete with specific characteristics tailored to the project requirements. 5. Versatility Batching plants can produce a wide range of concrete mixes, including standard, specialty, and custom formulations. This versatility makes them suitable for various construction applications, from roads and bridges to high-rise buildings and precast concrete products. 6. Conservation of Resources Concrete batching plants help conserve resources by optimizing the use of materials and reducing wastage. Accurate measurement and batching reduce the need for excess materials, which is environmentally friendly and cost-effective. 7. Safety Batching plants are equipped with safety features and controls that ensure safe operations. Operators can monitor and control the process from a centralized control room, reducing the risks associated with manual mixing and handling of materials. 8. Reliability Well-maintained batching plants are highly reliable and can operate continuously, even in challenging weather conditions. This reliability minimizes construction delays and ensures a steady supply of concrete to the construction site. 9. Customization Batching plants can be customized to meet specific project requirements. This includes adjusting the mix design, production capacity, and automation level to suit the needs of different construction projects. 10. 10. Regulatory Compliance Batching plants adhere to industry standards and regulations for concrete production, ensuring that the resulting concrete meets safety, quality, and environmental standards. 11. Reduced Environmental Impact by controlling the mixing process and minimizing material wastage, batching plants contribute to reducing the environmental impact of construction activities. They also enable the use of eco-friendly admixtures and alternative materials in concrete production. In summary, concrete batching plants are essential in modern construction due to their ability to consistently produce high-quality concrete efficiently and cost-effectively. They help ensure construction projects are completed on time, within budget, and with a desired level of quality and safety. Their contributions to resource conservation and environmental sustainability make them a crucial component of sustainable construction practices. C. Safety Briefing, Plant Layout and Potential Hazards of Concrete Batching Plant Safety is paramount in any construction environment, and a concrete batching plant is no exception. Here's a safety briefing on the plant layout and potential hazards associated with a concrete batching plant. Plant Layout 1. Entry and Exit Points Ensure there are clearly marked entry and exit points for personnel and vehicles. Implement traffic management procedures to prevent collisions. 2. Control room. The control room is where operators monitor and control the batching process. Only authorized personnel should have access to this area. 3. Aggregate storage bins. Keep the area around aggregate storage bins clear of debris and trip hazards. Provide safe access for maintenance and inspection. 4. Cement silos. Cement silos should have ladders, platforms, and guardrails for safe access. Ensure silo outlets are adequately protected to prevent falling obje objects. 5. Mixing Unit Mark off a safe zone around the mixing unit where personnel should not enter during operation. Provide emergency stop buttons for immediate shutdown if necessary. 6. Conveyor belts and screw conveyors Ensure that conveyor systems are equipped with guarding to prevent entanglement and provide emergency stop controls at key points. 7. Aggregate loading and discharge points Design loading and discharge points with safety in mind. Avoid pinch points and provide guards where necessary. 8. Water and admixture storage. Store water and admixtures in designated areas away from mixing equipment. Ensure spill containment measures are in place. 9. Dust collection systems. Maintain and regularly inspect dust collection systems to prevent dust-related hazards and ensure proper functioning. 10. Fire extinguishers. Have fire extinguishers strategically placed throughout the plant, especially near fuel sources and electrical equipment. Potential hazards 1. Slip, trip, and fall hazards Concrete batching plants can be wet environments. Ensure proper drainage, anti-slip surfaces, and good housekeeping to prevent slips, trips, and falls. 2. Falling objects Falling aggregate, tools, or equipment can pose a danger. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment, PP, such as hard hats, and ensure storage areas are secure. 3. Material handling Be cautious when handling heavy bags of cement or other materials. Use proper lifting techniques and equipment like forklifts or cranes. 4. Chemical exposure. Concrete and admixtures can be irritants or hazardous to skin and eyes. Provide personal protective equipment such as gloves and goggles and access to eye wash stations and emergency showers. 
5. Electrical hazards. Electrical equipment and wiring should be well maintained and protected against moisture. Follow electrical safety protocols and use ground fault, fault circuit interrupters, GFCIs, where needed. 6. Noise. Batching plants can be noisy environments. Provide hearing protection for personnel working near noisy equipment. 7. Dust exposure. Dust from aggregate and cement can be harmful if inhaled. Ensure that dust collection systems are functioning correctly and provide respiratory protection when necessary. 8. Confined spaces. Some parts of the batching plant, such as silos, can be considered confined spaces. Implement confined space entry procedures and ensure proper training for personnel. 9. Chemical spills. Have spill response kits available and train personnel on how to respond to chemical spills, including those involving water and admixtures. 10. Emergency procedures. Establish clear emergency procedures, including evacuation routes, first aid stations, and emergency contact information. Regular safety training and awareness programs for all personnel working in or around the concrete batching plant are essential. Encourage reporting of near misses and potential hazards to maintain a safe working environment. Always prioritize safety above all else in construction operations. D. Emergency procedures and evacuation drills of concrete batching plant. Emergency procedures and evacuation drills are critical components of safety planning in any industrial facility, including concrete batching plants. These measures help ensure the safety of personnel in the event of accidents, fires, equipment failures, or other emergencies. Here are guidelines for emergency procedures and evacuation drills at a concrete batching plant. Emergency procedures. 1. Develop an emergency response plan. Create a comprehensive emergency response plan specific to the concrete batching plant. This plan should outline procedures for various types of emergencies, including fires, chemical spills, equipment malfunctions, and natural disasters. 2. Emergency contacts. Maintain a list of emergency contact numbers, including local emergency services, the plant manager, and key personnel. Ensure that all employees know how to contact these authorities in case of an emergency. 3. Emergency equipment. Place emergency equipment such as fire extinguishers, first aid kits, eyewash stations, and emergency showers in easily accessible locations. Regularly inspect and maintain this equipment. 4. Communication. Establish a communication protocol for alerting all employees about an emergency. Consider using alarms, sirens, or a PA system for immediate notification. 5. Evacuation routes. Clearly mark evacuation routes with illuminated exit signs. Ensure that routes are unobstructed and lead to safe assembly areas. 6. Assembly areas. Designate assembly areas a safe distance from the plant where employees should gather during evacuations. Ensure that these areas are clearly marked and known to all personnel. 7. Emergency shutdown procedures. Develop clear procedures for shutting down plant operations in the event of an emergency. Ensure that all employees are trained in these procedures. 8. Chemical spill response. Have procedures in place for handling chemical spills, including containment, cleanup, and disposal. Provide appropriate PPE for employees involved in spill response. 9. Fire safety. Conduct regular fire drills and ensure that fire extinguishers are easily accessible and employees know how to use them. Maintain good housekeeping practices to reduce fire hazards. 10. Medical assistance. Have a designated area for first aid and medical assistance. Ensure that trained personnel are available, are available to provide immediate aid to injured employees. Evacuation drills. 1. Schedule regular drills. Conduct evacuation drills on a regular basis, at least annually or as required by local regulations. Inform employees about the schedule in advance. 2. Scenario variation. Vary the scenarios for evacuation drills to simulate different emergency situations, such as fires, chemical spills, or equipment malfunctions. 3. Assign roles. Designate employees to act as evacuation leaders and ensure they know their responsibilities during drills. These leaders can guide others to the assembly area and account for all personnel. 4. Review procedures. During drills, employees should practice emergency procedures, including shutting down equipment, evacuating the premises, and reporting to assembly areas. 5. Evaluate and debrief. After each drill, conduct a debriefing session to evaluate the effectiveness of the evacuation and identify areas for improvement. Make necessary changes to the emergency response plan based on the drill results. 6. Documentation. Maintain records of all evacuation drills, including dates, times, participants, and observations. This documentation can be useful for compliance and improvement purposes. 7. Training. Ensure that new employees receive training on emergency procedures and evacuation routes as part of their orientation process. 
By developing and practicing emergency procedures and evacuation drills, a concrete batching plant can significantly enhance the safety of its personnel and minimize the risks associated with potential emergencies. Regular drills and continuous improvement efforts are essential components of a comprehensive emergency preparedness program. Friends, we have explained in brief about overview of concrete batching plant and its components, importance of concrete batching plant in construction, safety briefing, plant layout and potential hazards of concrete batching plant, emergency procedures and evacuation drills of concrete batching plant. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Infra Mechanizer, this is 100% free.